Okay, we're going to have a look at this dial indicator. It's a Michitoyo metric uh, 0.01 increments. Uh, I think it's about a 10 mil movement. At the moment, the it's not. At the moment, it's not moving at all. It's been dropped or something like that. I've had this for years, so I'm just going to have a look and see if I can um, open it up, and we'll have a look and see what happens. All right, taking the back off it now. Uh, that's what we can see inside there. There's nothing too. There's nothing too much explaining what's actually happening to it. I might have to take the front face off just to see what's going on. There's a, um, a small gear that runs along the, the shaft there at the front. And um, I see the spring. There's a little side shaft there that runs in a channel. A little groove over there. So I think I'll pop the front off it and see what's uh, going on in the front as well. Okay, I've had another look at this front face here. What I've done is I've, t I've put the back back on. I put that in the vise, and basically, looking at looking at where the needle is, I've prized it off this side here. Now I just use my fingers, and I'll see if I can there. And it, you're able to actually lift this corner up while moving it across so you don't bend your needle. Now what I've found here is we've got some screws, screws on the front here. So I'm gonna have a, gonna have a bit of look at this and see if uh, they, they're adjustable or something like that and see if I can get the pressure off this shaft. Okay, this is what we found out. Now I removed those four screws uh, that we looked at on the top there. Now there's a rubber o-ring around the outside, probably to seal it off. Now there's the top there. Word of warning to someone doing this is the needle is spring-loaded. Now I thought that when I started taking it off, it did wind, wind a couple of times, so I just wound it back uh, to pre-load it again. I've just got that screwdriver sitting on it so it doesn't uh, move again. So I can do the video, but um, yeah, the, the the needle is spring spring wound. Now what I'm finding is the shaft there um, has resistance on it. So I'd say there's a little bit of gunk on the shaft or something like that. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll tidy that shaft up, see if I can get a little bit of oil on there and maybe get um, a bit of the, might be a bit of coolant on there or something like that and made it go all sticky. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll see if I can free that up first and then I'll chuck that back on and see there doesn't seem to be any adjustment on it the the holes are um, uh, like to size on the screws but there might be a little bit of adjustment um, there but we'll see how we go all right I'm gonna free that up first and then we'll see if we can fit it back all right I got that freed up really nice now it's uh, springing really springing back what I did was I got some like carburetor cleaner and sprayed it up in there and moved it while I was doing it. And give it a blow out the compressed air. Now there's a little, um, just just there, there's a little rubber, little rubber pad, and it's for the pin of the spring to come up and so it doesn't slam onto the uh, the housing. I would say uh, it just comes up and gives it a bit of a cushion. When it comes to the max stroke there, uh, if you're blowing out with compressed air, just I just put my finger over top of that so I didn't blow it off across the shed uh, and and lose it. So uh, you, you could probably you could probably pop that off. I'm not going to pop it off now, but um, yeah, I just put my finger over it. But yeah, some carburetor cleaner and I put a little bit of um, uh, air tool oil, really light uh, light duty oil on it, and I put a little bit more grease up in the um, groove there because uh, it got flushed out a little bit so I put a little bit more grease up in there uh, all right so I'm going to try and put this top back on now and we'll see how we go all right I'll just put that top back on uh, just slid on there pretty easy I put the little o-ring I, I put the little o-ring on there first there's a little groove 
uh, little groove there that sits in. Then I was just holding the needle with my finger and then it just slipped down, just slipped into place. Uh, it was sitting up a little bit and then it just, just popped, just popped straight in. Um, then I put a screw in there and uh, it's, it's actually moving really, really easy. It's, I've only got two screws in there and it's, but that's moving really well. It's, it's, it's hardly any, any effort on that and it seems to be going back to the same spot each time which is a good indication that it's uh, working working fine and it doesn't seem to have any doesn't seem to be sticky or anything it's, it's moving quite nicely so I'll put the other the other two screws in and I'll start tightening it down see if there's any adjustment in it uh, but I don't, it doesn't look like there is if you have a look at the screw hole, oh, it's not very focused. The screw hole, it's pretty much the size of the screw, so there's, there's virtually, if there is any adjustments, virtually nothing. So um, maybe just the fact that that shaft was a little bit tight and that pr it probably got dropped, and, and maybe this top plate did move slightly. Uh, it could be a combination of a couple of things, but at the moment it's moving, it's moving nice and free. So uh, I'll, I'll do those screws up and, and uh, we'll see how. See how that goes. Well, I've got the got the front face on there now. It's still moving, still moving nicely. So um, yeah, I'd say it'd be a combination of a few things there, being a bit dirty and all that sort of stuff. I've given me face, given that face a bit of a clean down. I've cleaned my my face in uh, my glass here. I'll give that a bit of a clean down so it's all clean. So putting this back on will be um, a matter of just slipping it under the needle there like that and then just just pushing it down I won't do it one-handed because I'll probably break something here but um, yeah I'll put my front back on it we'll put the front back on it and then we'll once the front's on it we'll flip it over make sure everything's okay in there um, we might put a bit more oil on it or something uh, we might put too much oil on it but um, yeah we'll make sure everything's there all right we'll just do one more shot inside here so everyone can see what's going on um, it all seems to be moving nice this is the bottom side now um, and there's no no resistance there now at all so um, it's feeling really good so that's another one saved from the grave there's, um, Everything looks, everything looks pretty good there. All right, so I'll button this up. That just sits on there. Seal her off and get her up and running, get her on the stand. All right, there it is. Pride of place on the stand. Uh, working nice. Where's the end of it there? It's moving nice now. So that's, that's, um, that's pretty good. Going from a rock hard shaft that wouldn't move to a nice, Nice sliding Michitoyo dial indicator. Uh, I was using a Chinese uh, dial indicator, but uh, we all know how they go. So um, that should that should make things a lot more easier down here. All right, well, I'll be doing some more videos soon, so uh, stay tuned.